I have one story I can tell you, right? So look, this guy, man, right? So, man like Tommy Tate, aka Big Joshua, yeah. I'm telling you, bro, this guy is different. This guy is a different, different fucking level of G, right? So we're, we're in the studio. And obviously, I don't live in London. I live outside of London. So for me to get home, I have to get last train in it. And last train for me was half past 12, mid, like half midnight. Um, and the studio was booked until 3 a.m. So I'm like, I'm like, oh, I look at the time. It's like, uh, like quarter to 12. I'm like, oh, I need to dip back to the station so that I can get back to my train. Start packing all my shit up, right? Um, so I'm packing, oh, I'll call this guy back. I don't know who this is. So I'm packing shit into my bag. Man puts his jacket on and all of that, stands up. Big Josh is like, where are you going? I'm like, oh, I got a dip in it, I got to get a last train. And he was like, it was like, uh, he was like, how much is an Uber? And I was like, oh, back to mine, it's long. Like, you can never find drivers like, for the Uber. I just like, trains are my only thing. He was like, take your shit off, sit back down, I'll pattern it. Man, just pattern the thing. So I stayed till three, pattern me an Uber back to the fucking, back to the boys' whip. I stayed at the stew. And I got home at about 4.30 in the morning. But was it worth it? Yes. And I'm telling you, bro, that guy is actually, like, just a G, bro. Like, actually a G. Certified G. So, that is, uh, that is, that is the story of how I got convinced to stay at the studio for longer. And I'm glad I did, man. It was sick. It was sick to meet Big Toe as well.